us in love and greetings. I look to all the Harvest Army churches. We salute you in the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God for, you know, we already have thanked them so many times for our overseer, uh, KK, Dr. Katie Collins. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for Mr. Evans. Hallelujah. Mr. Ferry Bacon. And everybody. Hallelujah. Apostle. Bless you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Get the Matthews in the house. Hallelujah. And we got Philip. We got Philip. Hallelujah. It's a Tanzania and everybody. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. I'm going to start out tonight with a testimony of how. About 16 years ago, I came to Florida, and it was different for me. You see, this time is different from that time. That time, I was running from the calling of the Lord, my God. And I was on I-95 in a tractor trailer, and my cousin, you can look it up in the newspaper, David Earl Williams in the Florida Herald, about 16 years ago. David Earl Williams and me, Pastor Gene Williams, Brian Eugene Williams. I was a passenger. I was driving. And there was a car that was stopped dead ahead of us at 3 a.m. in the morning. Have you ever been there somewhere? 3 a.m. in the morning. And there was a car that was stopped right there. And all of a sudden, I had went to sleep, and then I woke up to hear this screaming and screeching. It seemed like forever. Now, what happened was the tractor trailer could not stop because they had a full load. And it was coming down the bridge overpass, and it crashed into all the cars. And there was a car that was stopped in the middle. They were asleep. I don't know if they were drunk or whatever, but it cost somebody their life that night. And it could have been me. But thank God it was not me. It was not my time to go. And now I come down I-95 and I see all these accidents. But I got here tonight safely. Hallelujah. And it's different this time. God is doing a new thing. Hallelujah. He's going to raise up new people. Hallelujah. Just like he used me, he can use you. Hallelujah. Just like I was lost, I'm now found. Glory to God. I was not a preacher. Now I am a preacher. Come on, somebody. Are you following me? God is no respecter of persons in the Harvest Army. Hallelujah. All over the world. Hallelujah. I'm thankful tonight. Hallelujah for a testimony of the living. It's good to be among the living and not the dead. Hallelujah. Glory to God. As I saw the man take his last breath, I, I just looked at him. And I wanted to do something, but I could not do that thing. But I could do something today. I could tell the lost souls about Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Repent for the kingdom of heaven has come nigh to you tonight. Hallelujah. If you have your Bibles, would you turn with me to Haggai? If you would please, Haggai. Praise God. Bless the Lord a new thing. God laid this on my heart as I was in the hotel room. And uh, we've been taken care of. And I thank God for Harvest Army and everybody here. Amen. God is good. Haggai. Second chapter, verse 7. Starting at verse 7. Hallelujah. It says, And I will shake all nations. My God. My God. This is a desirable thing. A desirable thing. Hallelujah. The shaking of all nations. Hallelujah. And I will shake all nations and the desire of all nations shall come and I will fill this house with glory. Somebody say this house. Hallelujah. Saith the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, apostle. Hallelujah. And the gold is mine, saith the Lord of hosts. God will provide. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. The glory of this latter house shall be greater, hallelujah, than of the former, saith the Lord of hosts. 
So are you following me tonight? Hallelujah. And in this place, in this place, somebody say this place. Hallelujah. Will I give peace, saith the Lord of hosts. In the four and twentieth day of the ninth month, in the second year of Darius, came the word of the Lord by Haggai, the prophet, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, as now the priest concerning the law, saying, In one bare holy flesh, in the skirt of his garment, and with his skirt to touch bread. Hallelujah. Or pottage or wine or oil. The oil of the Holy Ghost. Come on somebody. We need the outpouring of the Holy Spirit or any meat. Do we got meat in the house of God tonight? Can we eat meat? Hallelujah. Shall it be holy? And the priest answered and said no. Then Haggai if one then said Haggai if one that is unclean by a dead body touch any of these shall it be unclean and the priest answered and said it shall be unclean then answered Haggai and said so is this people and so is this nation before me come on says the Lord and so is every word of their hands and that which they offer there is unclean and now I pray consider from this day and upward from before a stone was laid upon a stone in the temple of the Lord. Jesus. Hallelujah. God is shaking to nations today. Hallelujah. The, the Shekinah glory cloud is revealed in the latter times, even right now. Hallelujah. Mess messianic Messiah prophecies and divine leadership and ownership are available right now. Hallelujah. In the church in the last days, go into the temple of peace. Hallelujah. World prophecy. Glory to God. World revival. Hallelujah. World shaking. Hallelujah. A new thing. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Earth reviving preaching. Hallelujah. Lord, will this dead bones live? Will these dead bones live? Lord, thou knowest. Only you know, Lord. And yes, they will be resurrected. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. There can no contamination be in the sanctuary of strength. This time we got to be careful, hallelujah, not to pollute the sanctuary of strength, brothers and sisters. Don't just let anything into your temple. Don't just let anything into your body. Don't just let anything or anybody prophesy to you. Come on, somebody. It's got to be sure of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. It's got to be the word of God. Hallelujah. It's got to be the fire of God. It's got to be the truth of God to see us through. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So don't pollute this move of God. We got to sustain and maintain. Hallelujah. Retain knowledge. Learn and grow as we go. Hallelujah. Learn and grow as we go. Hallelujah. Now go with me, if you would, to Luke the 8th chapter. Luke the 8th chapter speaks of a parable, a certain parable. Hallelujah. Of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Again in about verse 13. Hallelujah. These are emotional hearers in the last days. Are you there? We can't be emotional. We can't ride an emotional roller coaster. We got to be faithful to the word of God. They on the rock are they, which when they hear, receive the word with joy. Hallelujah. And these have no root, which for a while believe, and in time of temptation, then they fall away. Oh, my God. We can't fall away from the Lord. We can't fall away from the truth. 
My God, in that which fell among thorns are they which when they have heard go forth and are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life and bring no fruit to perfection. My church, my God in heaven, my people of God, hallelujah, brothers and sisters, we got to be perfect before the Lord because he is perfect. He makes us perfect. He's got a perfect work for us tonight. He's got a perfect word for us tonight in this new thing we're Bible, hallelujah. He said, I will do a new thing. We got to cleave to him. We got to hold to him. Hallelujah. Hold to God's unchanging hands that he will see us through. My God in heaven, he will keep you. Hallelujah. When you get weak, hallelujah, he will lift you up. Hallelujah. He will bear you up. When you are down, hallelujah, he will pick you up and put you on solid ground. My God in heaven, help us tonight, Holy Ghost, to lean on you, to trust in you, to believe in you for all things great and small. All the silver is his tonight, church. The gold is his tonight, church. If you got a need, all you got to do is call on Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I come with good tidings of great joy. It's a pleasure and a joy to bring you good news, encouragement, exhortation. Hallelujah. A word for the last days. Hallelujah. And I thank you for receiving me. And as you receive me, I receive you. Hallelujah. We got to work together. It's teamwork. Glory to God. You sow a seed, I sow a seed. Hallelujah. When you give a good seed and do a good deed, it will come back, it will come back, it will come back to you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I want to tell you something tonight. I'm hearing in the spirit that the things that you're doing, even in the right now, hallelujah, are not in vain. The Lord says keep marching. The Lord says keep pushing. The Lord says keep pressing on. Hallelujah. And watch and see what he's about to do. Hallelujah. Trust in him. Believe in him. And hold to him for all things. Hallelujah. And he's going to see you through over on the other side of Jordan. Because the Bible says the gold is his and the silver is his. He owns the cattle of a thousand hills. Yes. He already knows what you have need of. All you got to do is ask. Hallelujah. So why don't we ask? In this new thing revival, a lot of times we get weary and we'll do it. Come on. He said, don't get weary and well doing God's people. Amen. God's people. God's people. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No man, when he has lighted a candle, covered it with a vessel or put it under a bed, but setteth it on a candlestick that they which enter it in may see the light. When you enter in this tabernacle, this church, do you see the light? Hallelujah. Do you feel the light? Thank God for the lighthouse. Thank God for the light and fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. My God. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. I don't really deserve to be here. I'm not worthy to be here, but God made me worthy. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And I feel there are so many people in the last days that are discouraged and downtrodden. But you're going to see that light. God is going to lift you up and strengthen you. My God, let the weak say they are strong tonight. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I preached a sermon yesterday morning about false spirits in the church and imitation and emulation spirits. God had gave me a word of encouragement to rebuke the devil. Hallelujah. Rebuke lying spirits. Hallelujah. Don't receive lying spirits because what that will do, that will drag you down. That will bring you down. 
into depression. Hallelujah. We don't need that. We need the strength. We need the light. Hallelujah. We need that light. So we're not emotional hearers and we're not on an emotional roller coaster. Hallelujah. We're receptive hearers. Hallelujah. And when we do something, we act and we act quickly. We act upon the word of God quickly and swiftly. Amen. Hallelujah. The acts of the apostles. Praise the Lord. Amen. We have a renewed heart tonight. If you don't, you need, the, you need the impartation of the new heart. If you don't have it, you need the impartation of the new heart. You need to be strengthened. And we got to be fruitful. We got to have patience. Hallelujah. We got to be that spiritual light in the last days against the beast system. Hallelujah. To rebuke the lies and the witchcraft and the sorcery coming across television. I'm so thankful that Harvest Song comes on TV. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Yeah. There's so many bad things come on TV. There's so many bad things on YouTube. Hallelujah. But there's a light shining bright in Florida. Hallelujah. God is doing a new thing in Florida. Hallelujah. In New York. In North Carolina. In Georgia. In Jamaica. In Haiti. Hallelujah. Come on. You saw it. Hallelujah. God is pouring out of his spirit on all flesh. Sons and daughters are prophesying. Yes. Old men dreaming dreams and young men are seeing visions to the glory of God. Hallelujah. He's even starting new marriages, new families. It's so wonderful. Oh my God. All the good things that he's doing. He's adding to the church daily as he sees fit. Hallelujah, North Carolina. Hallelujah. We're so thankful to be a part of a mighty move of God on the planet. World changes. Earth changes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This life that was manifested unto us, we got to take heed. We got we to gotta have an ear to hear. There is spiritual abundance in the word of the Lord. Both the written and the spoken. The spoken word is that word, John 13, 19. I tell you before it comes, that way when it comes to pass, you will believe I am he. We've heard it so many times here from the pulpit, hallelujah, all the way up and down the East Coast and worldwide. God is speaking to planet Earth. He's shaking planet Earth. He wants planet Earth to awake and arise, hallelujah, to the glorious light and appearing of the coming of the Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ is soon to come. We got to always be ready for we don't know what hour he will come, but when he comes, we got to be ready. He's coming back not for a weak or feeble church. He's coming back for a glorious church. Hallelujah. One without spot. One without wrinkle. Hallelujah. One that is on fire. Hallelujah. Glory to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. You got that light tonight. Have you been shaken? Have you been awakened? Is the devil's back breaking? <laughs> My God. Amen. If you don't have that light, light a candle tonight in your heart for Jesus. There are privileges in the house of God. Right here, right now. Hallelujah. Spiritual abundance and spiritual care. You can, you can have a spiritual loss. If you didn't come to God tonight, you can have a spiritual loss. My God. But what's so great about God is, is that if we're here or there or in the air when he comes, hallelujah, he's the same God that can move on the sea and at the snap of a finger, he can turn it all around like he did in my testimony when I was running from the call of God. I'm no longer running from the call of God. I'm running to the call of God. Oh, yeah. And that's what we all ought to do in these last days. I got a feeling that so many are afraid to answer the call. 
But when your mom or daddy call, you want you want to answer. When your uncle called with some money, you want to answer. But you don't want to answer the call of the Lord. It's so simple. And it's so easy a child to understand. That's why he's using children in the last days. And she got an answer. Got an answer. It says, and then they came. Then came to him his mother and his brethren and could not come at him for the press. This was Christ that was throned. Have you ever been alone? Have you ever needed some strength? Have you ever had to press through a crowd? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And it was told him by a certain which said, Thy mother and thy brethren stand without, desiring to see thee. Hallelujah. We shouldn't stand without tonight wanting to see thee. We should see thee. Hallelujah. As seers, prophets, and visionaries in the last days as he's pouring out his spirit, we should see the Lord. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We got to see Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's only one way to the Father. That's through the Son. That's through the blood. That's through the cross. Come on, somebody. And when we get there, he will begin to reveal, as he's had, had so many times, for Dr. Collins and Apostle Collins, over the years, he has revealed himself. And they have saw the glory of the Lord. Hallelujah. Do you want that glory tonight? Do you want the increase tonight? Do you want more of Jesus tonight? He's available. No matter how high we get, no matter how long we've been in it, there's always growth. There's always learning. There's always increase. There's always favor and blessings in the house of the Lord. As he poured it out in Acts chapter 2, He's still doing it today, even right here tonight in Florida. Hallelujah. That's about my time. I want to encourage you. Hallelujah. Stay in the word. Stay in the revival. Hallelujah. Stay in Florida. If God tells you to come to Florida, come to Florida. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If he tells you to go to New York, go to New York. Whatever the saith the Lord, whatever he wants you to do, do it. Hallelujah for the glory of the Lord and do it quickly. Hallelujah. You shaking planet earth. God bless you so much. Hallelujah. We love you. Thank you.